for students during the pandemic will now not be offered starting next year. ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell tonight with what's really behind this decision and what it now means for teachers and parents. A big change coming for students in Pasco County. Pasco County School Superintendent Kurt Browning sent out this message today. Based on recent positive trends and initial guidance from the state, the district will not offer the My School Online option next school year. My School Online is the remote e-learning option tethered to a student's physical school. The district said it was created as a temporary option during the pandemic. The superintendent explained the State Department of Education only authorized offering this type of option for this past school year, and there aren't indications that will continue. He also said positive cases involving their students and staff have decreased dramatically since January and said they've been aggressive in making the vaccine available to staff. However, Pasco eSchool will still be available for students. As we look to return to what we could hope to consider a normal, uh, I, you know, I would hope that this would be a, a message that would be uh, well received. Uh, I think for the majority of the people, this should probably be the way that we will go. But some teachers told me we need to continue to think about having options for families. For the kids that it works for, I think it should continue to be offered. I feel like the benefit for continuing to offer it outweighs the negatives. Last week, we told you about a poll that found 69% of parents are at least somewhat concerned their kids will face setbacks in school because of the pandemic. Deanna Fitzpatrick has two students in my school online for safety reasons. Um, there is some struggles. Um, however, you know, she's still maintaining her grades. So it's a, it's a mixed bag. I can see where some might be struggling, but you know, it, we're, again, we're doing it for safety. Fitzpatrick says the option going away is frustrating, but her kids will go back to school and will make it work. But she's left wondering. We go back to school at the beginning of August. Why can't a decision be made, you know, then near, you know, in, in like I said, in June or July? Why can't it, why does the decision have to be made today? Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.